Welcome back to the channel. Today, me and Dave, Dave and I, get it correct, have come out to Ivano Beacon, even though the beacon's quite a bit over there, but we're in this car park. And I've brought the wagon out. So we're going to be doing a camp. I'm in the car, he's going to have his tent and he's, we found a spot for him. He's going to be over here in this under tree area where it's semi flat. But this is the motor that you haven't really seen around, apart from the conversion videos. It's got a lot of stuff in it at the moment, but you'll see more of it soon. And there's Dave. Right, got the jets going over all the time now. Yeah, we're near the airport, aren't we? Luton Airport this time, not Heathrow. Uh, sort of small little jets, yeah, near, noisy ones. Near jets. So we're off on a 3.4 kilometre walk. Dave has on his commute. So hopefully it's all nice paths and we're not going to be going through that like we did the first time we came to Ivanhoe. We'd climb through all that in the night because we couldn't see where we were going, couldn't find a path. That was many years ago actually. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So we're going up to the beacon then? Yeah, we're going to the beacon, it's so over there. Right. And now we're up on the top of the Ivano beacon. There's the beacon. Well, Go and tap point. it, tap it. I've got to tap it, I'm going to tap it. <laughs> Taps. This is um, Dave's, Dave's three and a half kilometre walk. So we've we've done all that behind us. See those hills in a very big distance. We've walked over all those. And now we're on our way up to the top of this one with the woods. Hopefully the car's up there. If we um, organised it well. How far do you reckon we've walked now? Probably about one and a half miles. It's 3.2 K. Yeah. So you said it's 3.4? Yeah. That's not true, is it? It will be when we get to the car park. Didn't tell me he was going up there. I didn't bring the camera. I got my stills camera, but he didn't tell me he was going to the beacon. I'm keeping the camera on you, Dave, for the camera of shame. What? The camera of shame. There ain't no shame in this game. Just finished the walk. Dave's 3.4 kilometers. I got two miles 47 on mine. So it ain't 3.4 kilometers, is it? Hour and 45 minutes. So where's he getting his hours walk from? I'm sweating like a rapist. Yeah, I'm pretty warm, sweating away. But I'm wearing a fleece. He didn't wear a fleece because he knew he was going up a mountain, whereas I didn't. So I'm going to cool down. And then we're gonna to have to start cooking soon. Yep, Trangier's coming out, and I get some burgers on. So just let me get cooled, and I'll see you in a bit. I bought a new water tap. Got it on Amazon. So I'll show you it. It's basically you just put it onto any container. It's designed for those big um, water cooler things. And then you can fill whatever you want from it. 
So you can put it on any container size because it's just got a pipe that goes into the water. It's got a rechargeable Li-Ion battery in it. I'm just going to top up my water bottle for now. How much are they? Well, I paid £8 on special, but it's up to 15 eight. <laughs> Yeah, 8 quid. 8 quid. Even 15 quid is good. Yeah. Bargain for what it's doing. I thought it was a hairdryer. <laughs> yeah, it's good. So it's it, basically yeah. just on a pipe, but it's a silicon. Um, is there any thread. thread on there? No, no, it sits on top of a. So it's just gravity, yeah. Yeah, you know one of those, you know the water coolers with the upside down bottles? It's yeah. designed to go on that. Alright. Dave's putting his tent up, you can see him in the background. I'm fueling up the tranny. Get some burgers on, I'm hungry, I'm not eating today. It's five o'clock now. I suppose you've got a tent hammer of um, I, don't, I think I brought pegs, I don't think I brought a hammer. Is it hard? I don't know, I ain't tried yet. Well, if you're having trouble with them pegs, put mine in. Yeah. That's right. It's soft. Yeah. I'm trying to find a lighter. So I've got some burgers today. They're in here somewhere. Dave's got a lot of food in there as well. Some buns. Got some salad. Spatula. Got some hot sauce. Not a lot, but there's a bit there Jay gave me. Thanks Jay for that. Got some cheese. Can't go about your cheddar. There they are. Two jalapeno griller patties. I've got the ones on reduced. Why not? They're reduced. Hopefully they'll both fit in that pan together. Just got to try and find some paracord for Dave to put on his tent door. This is going all right. Don't worry about it. I don't need, the, need it really, do I? I don't know. Really Let's see if we can turn these over without breaking them. So I was waiting for some aircraft to pass before I did it. I was going to do it earlier. It took about two minutes and I was thinking, should I turn these before they burn? Or should I wait so I can do it on camera? So I waited. Dave blown up his mat, don't worry, he's not doing anything else. Right, so I've just finished cooking these. I had a GoPro fail, I've just changed memory cards. SD, they're a bit burnt because I was messing up trying to find the SD card. But I think that'd be all right. I don't know how warm they are, not very, but I'm gonna put my cheese on. I bought a slice each for each. Is that your quilt? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. My quilt's similar because I made mine, didn't I? Yeah. So look, 
multi-purpose. It's a sleeping bag. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can cinch one end. Yeah. Yeah, so make it make it into a sleeping bag. Uh, yeah, that's quite a thin sleeping bag. Yeah. Or it's only summer though, isn't it? Yeah. Um. What's it called? Camping quilt. Where do you get it? I think you'd have, Amazon. I think you'd have to uh, with a hood. Put some rings on there, yeah. And then you can have it as a hammock uh, under quilt. So if you was like sitting out on your chair when it's getting cool, you could put that over you with the hood. Uh, yeah, so it's a poncho as well. Or, or this is how you sleep, depending how. And you could have it as a blanket. But if it's real b bad weather, so the clips aren't very good on it. They bit cheap, so it's just plastic. But you can put, always put uh, better ones on if you wanted. So this, this would be good in the hammock. I always get hot legs, I can't stand sleeping bags. Yeah. We've got a pocket. But you also got a zipped pocket here. Well, as long as you keep the stuff. chest warm, you'll be alright, won't you? Yeah. But then if it gets really thin, you double it up. Nice. So if you was about three and three and a half foot tall, it'd probably fit you. <sighs> yeah, there you go. You're like Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Ewok. Yeah, so I'm sweating in it now, I can't get it off. Yeah. So I've just dashed out my um, burger and cheese. I'm going to put a bit of salad on there. It's a simple meal today. Yeah, so look, I don't need a season bag for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hopefully, you'll be warm. Is that mat rated to warmth? Huh? The mat, is it rated for a warm base layer? Yeah. About 12 inches high. 12 inches? No, sorry, uh, 12 centimetres. <laughs> so, what sort of blight mat did you bring? So, we'll see what these jalapeno burgers are like. Oh, all right. They're right, okay. Nice and warm. So we're making up our soft pitters. They've bought these. And they're basically easy to fill pitta breads and I've put some salad in this one. Mm. I've had my burgers, I'm being greedy now because I want to try this. It's not like a dry pitta bread, is it? It's nice. Nice toasted though. Mm. I put mine in a panini maker when I made them before. Mm. Quite a nice spot here, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, well pleased with that spot. The only people that have turned up lately are doggo walkers, isn't it? So this is Dave's Robins Goshawk 2, is it? Yeah. So he's got a bit of a porch area and then a two-man tent, which you could probably definitely sleep two in. It's big enough. Looks all right. He's done a review, actually. If you go on his channel... Oh, that's not a review. I don't need to make. Yeah, he's done a um, video of it all being set up. You happy with it? Yeah, I love it. It's massive. He loves it. Morning. It's half past six. We had a great evening. A bit of banter and all the stuff, the usual, the munchies. But it did get um, a cold, chill breeze. So we sort of tucked. What time did we go to bed, Dave? About ten? Yeah, it was. Yeah, got in bed about ten. So this is me in here. I put the, um, I put the light on. I've got a remote control for that. It might interfere with the frequency on the camera, but 
so I was tucked up in the bed but that um, fishing bed I got from a charity shop for a five pounds and it isn't comfortable so I'm gonna have to get myself another one at some point but I had everything I needed it was cool and more and when you're laying down it's even bigger in there it's lovely it is fantastic I really enjoyed that Time for a free. Dave was woken up by the owls. But I have to admit, I've got so much insulation in this motor, I couldn't hear them. I could just hear aircraft going over. I didn't hear any cars, I could see the lights coming in and now and then, but I didn't hear them. He says he could hear everything, but he was in the tent. Yeah. But, my bed's uncomfortable, so I've got to change it. I'm not happy with it at all. Cheers. Huh? Oh, a nice cup of tea. Can't beat that, can you, in the morning? Nice hot cup of tea. Nice cup of black currant herbal tea. That is all blackberry. Oh, warms you up. Well, we're going to pack down whenever Dave's ready, so I'll leave it there, I think, because I've got nothing to pack down. I'm just going to put my table back in, and I'll be off. So, yeah, it's been, it's been lovely. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already, and the bell icon, and all that goodness if you're enjoying. And we'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.